Okay, what kind of knife is it? Just regular kitchen knife. Just like something you get out of a like a butcher block kind of thing. What does it look like? Can you describe it? It just had a black handle on it, and, and it was about that long. A serrated edge. Yeah. Okay. When you had it with you, you had it in the car with you, right? And you drove over to Javier's house. Why did you have it with you? Because they said that they were going to find my car and follow me, and she threatened to kill okay. me. So you are you telling me? that you had it for some form of protection? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I know they're going to jump me. I know Josh's family. Okay. Josh has hit me before. Josh's brother has threatened to hit me before. Do you have a gun or anything else? No. Okay, so that was your form of protection. Okay, so when you got in the car tonight to go over to their house, you had it in your hand, or right, you brought it with you. When you were arguing with Josh, you had it, is that right? I have it in my seat. Okay, and did they tell you to put it away? Did say anything. Javier and Dustin didn't? No, Javier asked who I had it, and he said, do you really think, I told him, and so, like, if they see it, they'll leave me alone. Hopefully they'd just go away. Right. And he was like, because I guess Josh has come to his house with a gun before. Mm -hmm. He said that what, they don't scare them, and it wasn't going to do anything to them, and I just, that was kind of the end of the conversation. He said, you know, they're not going to stop at anything. Okay. I had it out with Sarah got there hoping that she would just like walk away from me or see it and think that I was actually going to do something and they both came after me. All right, Rachel, walk me through it. You're sitting there, they pull up, Sarah gets out, you go out to the street where she's at, okay, because she's in right in front of the car, okay, to the front of her car. What happened when you encountered her? She just started screaming at me, and she laughed at me and said I wasn't going to do anything, and then she realized that I had a knife, and she kind of backed up, and then she started swinging on me anyways, and I just... When you say she started swinging on you, what was she, she doing? She started punching me in my face. Flailing at you? Yeah. Punching? And I saw Janet coming out. And where were you holding the knife at the time? I just had it out to the side, and then I saw Janet coming at me, and I saw the other girl come around the back end of the car. Mm -hmm. And they were all screaming at me, and Janet was telling me that I was crazy, and I wasn't going to do anything, and then, like... She said that she wished I would stab her. Who said that? Um, Janet. Said, I wish you'd stab me. Yeah, she said, I bet you won't stab me. I wish you would. And um, when Sarah was hitting me, I went to hit her, and I really did not even stab her. Okay. I'm not trying. I'm not going to kill somebody. Tell, she, tell me how it happened. So she was hitting me, and when I went to hit her back, I had put one of my hands up, and I had, like, I tried to hit her back and keep my hands in front of me. This is the knife. <laughs> Show me how you were holding it. Okay. But now, if, if I'm Sarah and I'm in front of you, what were you doing with the knife? How I did you had it out to the side and she started swinging on me. And then when I went to put my hands out, she was swinging on me. And I tried to defend myself from her. And then Janet came at me from the side. Mm -hmm. And I guess I, like, I did not mean to stab her at all. How many times did you stab her? I guess once. Okay. Do you know where it hit her at? No, I don't. I didn't see anything. I had both of them coming at me and Sarah hitting me to begin with. Okay. After you stabbed her, did she go to the ground, fall to the ground? I didn't see that. Okay. She was screaming at Janet after that. She was screaming, Janet, get in the car, your kids. That's all she would say. And then I didn't see her. And yeah. I still heard her yelling her name. That's all I heard was Janet, Janet, get in the car. Okay. So Sarah didn't have any weapon with her at all, right? She wasn't carrying a bat or a gun or a knife that you saw, right? Okay. And you went out and you met her in the street, came up to her side of the car where she was getting out of. Is that right? I stepped in, like, in the front of my car, yeah. And then when she started screaming at me, and then Janet started coming around the side, so I walked over a little bit further. But and initially just, it was just you and Sarah because you said Sarah was, and is that how your lip got hit? I think Janet did that. I don't know. Sarah kind of hit me in, like, the side of my head more than anything, okay. and in my stomach once. But when... Sarah was hitting me, I saw Janet come this way, and the other girl got out of the other side of the car and walked around from the back towards me. Okay. So after that was done, and I know you said you were being dragged around by Janet and whatnot, when you went back up to the house, what did you do with the knife once you had it? I threw it. Where? To, like, towards the neighbor's house. If you're facing Javier's yeah. house to the left side, just in the grass, over the fence, what? I threw it up. I don't know where it landed. Up on the roof? I don't know if it was on the roof or in their backyard or just do it. And how long would you say the knife is? Probably like that. Um, then you went up and sat on the porch. And then 
didn't take off. Well, Janet kept coming after me. Janet, like, followed me and followed me and kept and coming after me. And they stayed there then? Do you know what my job is? Hmm? What? To take care of things like this, to make sure things like this don't happen. Well, I understand that. That's, I mean, that's overall the police's job. But my specific job, do you know what it is? To figure out the details of everything. Well, that's part of it. You're correct. My real title is, okay, is I'm a homicide detective. Okay, they called me because of the serious nature of her injuries. Okay, she was stabbed. All right, she was stabbed twice because before I came here to talk to you, I went down and saw her at the hospital. Okay, she stabbed twice in the chest, and she has no other injuries on her whatsoever. Okay, what I need to know from you is is why. I, I, I understand that you had a knife because you thought you'd scare them, okay? But that isn't working. So why does somebody like you go one versus three? You go out into the street and meet them. Why didn't you just run in the house and call the police? I'm tired of it. They come I, after okay. me all the time. Okay. I don't want it. I did not. So you wanted it to end and be over with, yeah, right? I have no intentions whatsoever on stabbing her. I have a great life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a job, I have my own house, I have my own car, I have everything, and I just wanted it to end. That's why I told Josh I was done. And I didn't want them to come. I really didn't. I was waiting. I called my friend Agla that I was with earlier, and I told her to come pick me up. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, you know, you should really take your car, because if you don't take your car, they're going to do something to you. And at that point, I don't care. Mm -hmm. That's just my car. Why did you change shirts? I didn't change shirts. My, well, what you ripped had off on? my other shirt. Janet ripped off my shirt. Okay. So that got ripped off? Right. Yeah, but I did not want the, to have The necklace her. you have, is that yours? Yes. Does that belong to you? Yes. Okay. Did you see if Sarah was wearing a necklace at the time? No, I didn't. Did you take anything from her? No, I did not. There were rings in my front seat, but I don't think they were mine. And somebody mentioned that there were rings in my front seat. I do have rings in my car, but I don't remember them being in my seat. Okay. Janet got in my car, but I don't know what she did. And so I'm clear, I, I understand that Janet was, you know, beating on you as well, but initially it's you and Sarah. Javier, Dustin were out in the street fighting with you guys at all. Josh wasn't there. No, Josh was, well, I heard Josh screaming, like, as the cops were pulling up, I heard Josh and his brother. And me and Sarah were down fighting. Josh called me and threatened me and said he was going to come shoot me with his gun. Why? Because of the fact that his sister called and said that we were fighting and that was I hit her. Was it the fact that his sister called and said that you stabbed her? I don't know what she said to him. I guess because she said that I hit her and that I found Sarah. I don't know what she said. When every, I, I, This is what I'm having a problem with. And you're going to have to help me out with this because when everybody got there, Sarah is laying in the middle of the street with a stab wound. How do you not see that? I didn't get Janet came after me. Like, she physically came after me and dragged me around his front yard. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see anything. Okay. I just didn't see. Like, I saw Sarah sitting, like, on the edge of the seat of the front of the van. Mm -hmm. And she was screaming at Janet to get in the car. And then after that, Janet just came after me. She would not stop. And Javier and Dustin kind of, like, followed us, trying to, like, I don't know, intimidate her maybe to leave me alone. And, she, like, I went to dial 911. She knocked my phone out of my hands, and she just kept dragging me around the front yard. I couldn't see anything. Well, I know you told me that you were upset, and you just wanted this to be over because they have been harassing you, obviously. Was tonight kind of just the final straw? Is that what the deal was? I just, I want, I didn't want anything to do with any of them. Right. I didn't want them to call me. But you brought a knife with you for a reason. I, because they said they were going to follow me okay. to my apartment. But you also said that you had had enough of it. And when I asked you why you just didn't run into the house when they come pulling up in a van, your response to me was, what? I don't know. I'm tired of running and being scared. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't. My parents did not well, raise me tonight. that way. Okay. I know that, but you did, did not tonight. have any intention on stabbing her. You had the knife in your hand. How do you think that blade came in contact with her? You said she was, was like trying to trying hit to you. Hit her back. Okay, well, how do you hit somebody with a knife in your hand? You're going to have to show me. So I was just swinging was at her. I just had it, and I was swinging at her. She kept hitting me, and I just started swinging with, back. With the knife? With both hands. Okay. Yes. Show me how you, were you overhand or was, was it like both, this or what? everywhere. I didn't, just yes, all over. Because that's all she was doing to me and I saw both of the other girls coming after me. Okay. <clears throat> Did you 
you um did you give a couple chance to call him? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the next thing that that you need to that you need to understand, Rachel. Okay. When I was down at the hospital, okay, I saw where she was stabbed at. Okay, it looks like she has two stab wounds. All right. The next piece of information that you need to know is that she is dead. She died as a result of these stab wounds that she had at Northside Hospital. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I just wanted them to finally leave me alone. All of this over Josh? I just didn't want them to terrorize me anymore. They follow me everywhere. They come to my job. They come to my house. Well, she's not, not going to follow you anymore because she's dead now. <laughs> Here's the deal. We have to work with what the law says, and I understand the frustration with